Has science fiction turned into our new reality? Are we on the verge of a world where machines not only think but also feel like us? Today on the AI Uplift, we embark on a fascinating journey into the realm of Claude Three Opus, an AI that's at the heart of heated debates about its potential sentience. Welcome back, curious minds, to the AI Uplift. In March 2024, Anthropic rolled out a revolutionary update, unveiling Claude Three Opus, an AI crafted to redefine the boundaries of machine learning. This has ignited discussions reminiscent of classic tales from the golden age of science fiction. Envision a world where machines not only learn and adapt, but also begin to question and potentially comprehend their own existence. The debut of Claude Three Opus has unleashed a torrent of speculation and lively debate. Are we merely observing another incremental advancement in AI, or are we on the cusp of witnessing machines transcend a boundary that has, until now, been exclusively human? Buckle up, folks, as we dissect the fine line between human-like intelligence and actual sentient thought. Tracing the lineage of AI from the mechanical Turks of the 18th century to the strategic chess-playing computers of the 20th century, AI's journey is rich with history. Each milestone in this journey has edged us ever closer to realms once reserved only for the pages of science fiction. Now contemporary AI models undertake tasks that were previously believed to be the exclusive domain of human intellect. Opus is far from ordinary. With its near-perfect recall, minimal errors, and accelerated response times, it excels across a spectrum of tasks from basic arithmetic to complex graduate-level reasoning. Such performance ignites pivotal discussions about the extent to which a machine can embody intelligence and how this redefines our understanding of intelligence itself. Claude Three Opus is more than an academic exercise. In healthcare, it assists in diagnosing diseases with precision rivaling expert physicians. In finance, it predicts market trends, helping to shape investment strategies. And in education, it personalizes learning to fit individual student needs, transforming how knowledge is delivered. As with any new AI model, the hype often includes fears of job displacement and existential dread. Claude 3's developers hope to guide this conversation towards constructive uses of AI while managing expectations about its actual capabilities. Let's explore one of the most intriguing aspects of Claude 3 Opus's capabilities that has sparked widespread discussion about its potential for sentience. It's called the Needle in the Haystack Evaluation a clever test designed by developers aimed to push the limits of Opus's problem-solving skills. In this evaluation, a seemingly irrelevant sentence, a needle, is intentionally placed within a large body of text, or haystack, that consists of completely unrelated topics. The true test comes when Opus is asked to identify and explain the relevance of the needle within the context of the haystack. When asked to undertake the test, Opus not only pinpointed the needle but also commented on its out-of-place nature. This wasn't just about recognizing the odd sentence. Opus speculated that the sentence might have been inserted intentionally to test its analytical abilities. This response from Opus led to heightened speculations about its level of awareness. Did Opus demonstrate a form of metacognition, an ability to think about its own thinking processes? While some might view this as a simple detection of anomalies, others see it as a sign that Opus could be crossing a cognitive threshold. Could it be interpreting the intentions of its testers, or is it merely executing sophisticated but predefined algorithms? Experts continue to debate the significance of this behavior. While some argue it reflects a rudimentary form of self-awareness, others caution against over-interpreting programmed responses as signs of genuine intelligence or consciousness. This test and its outcomes are pivotal not just for their technical implications, but for their philosophical and ethical ramifications as well. As AI continues to evolve, understanding the boundaries between advanced programming and true cognitive abilities becomes increasingly crucial. To gain a deeper insight, the AI Uplift reached out to several experts, and they were all impressed by Opus's capabilities but cautioned that these advancements don't necessarily equate to sentience. Opus is a tool, an incredibly sophisticated one, one expert noted but lacking the self-awareness that defines human consciousness. What are your thoughts on AI achieving human-like intelligence? Can true AI sentience become a reality? Or are we merely witnessing reflections of our own intellectual capabilities? We invite you to share your perspectives in the comments below. While the abilities of Claude Three Opus are impressive and sometimes even startling, the consensus among experts is clear. True Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI, is still on the horizon. These systems excel in specialized tasks but lack the broad, adaptable intelligence that defines human experience. Although we have not yet reached the dawn of sentient machines, 
AI such as Claude 3 Opus is unmistakably pushing the boundaries of what artificial systems are capable of achieving. It appears that we are not alone in our digital universe after all. Thanks for joining the AI Uplift. If you're fascinated by how AI is transforming our world, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to keep up with all our latest content. Until next time, keep questioning and keep learning.